Hey Mom 43, Miss Abreu here. I just want to give you a quick tour of our Canvas course. This is our homepage. I will update it every week with a brief overview as to what we're doing, a couple of sample problems, should you want the extra practice, and just a summary of where we've been throughout the semester. If you scroll towards the bottom, you can see there's a link here to my virtual office hours. So if you ever want to visit those, just click on that link. It'll take you right to my, my virtual office that's being held inside of a Zoom account. You don't need an account. You just click on it and it'll go there. Um, the green button will always be the current module. And then you, if you want just modules in general or assignments or quizzes, you can click on one of these blue buttons. Um, but if you scroll back up, you have a different way of getting to modules, assignments, and quizzes right here in the course navigation menu. I'm going to go to files right now, but I would encourage you is uh, just to click around, see what's out there. I put a ton of resources up on, on Canvas, so see what I gave you. Familiarize yourself with where things are. I'm going to click on files. And I want to show you, wait, let me click, there we go. Um, so there's a whole bunch of options here for you. You'll probably spend a lot of time in class handouts by chapter. That's the one I, I think you'll spend the most amount of time in. Um, if you want to download your book, um, there it is. It's an open source book, which means it's free. We don't have to pay for it. Um, there's review packets, sample midterms, stack crunch projects, all sorts of stuff. But let me just, for right now, look at class handouts by chapter. So here are the 13 chapters we're going to do. I'll just unpack chapter one. Um, so we've got a couple of deep dives that we'll talk about later, but the, the things that I want to reference are these third and fourth files here. So this, this sampling and data lecture calculator. It, it says the word calculator because we're going to use a graphing calculator in here. When you see it with just the word calculator, it's the blank version of the lecture that I'll pass out in class. If you click on this one where you see lecture key, that's the let oh I can't use my words, that's the lecture packet with all of my answers typed out. So you've got that option there. Let's say you were absent and you're like, oh no, what did she go over? You can see the lecture key right there. Um, so we're gonna do math interludes. There's the key for it. And I'll explain later what a math interlude is. Um, when it comes to your homework, I put the solutions up and you might be saying, well, oh my goodness, you gave us the solutions to your homework. I did. I'm not expecting you to copy my answers. I'm expecting you to use those as a resource, right? I want us to learn. I want you to have as many resources at your fingertips as possible so you can be successful in here. And copying isn't going to leave you as successful. Or if it does, more power to you. All right, um, I'll talk about what summary keynotes are a little bit later. But these are your basic files as you go through here. A blank thing and a key. A blank thing and a key. Some homework solutions and a keynote. That's the general idea that we have going around here. So again, that's all under files. The other thing I want to point out is your modules. So each week we'll have a new module. You'll start this week with the orientation module and then week one. Um, I do want to point out your resource pages. We'll talk about the stat crunch resource page. We'll, we'll, when I say we'll talk about it, once we get to our stat crunch project, that's going to be in a few weeks. Um, here's some calculator help that you might need. Maybe you have an error message popping up on your calculator. I have a resource page for that. Maybe your algebra skills, you're not feeling super solid about those and you need a little bit more help. I've got a page for you there. Um, you'll spend this uh, some time this week going through the orientation module. So what I want to do for this video is just show you how every week is laid out. So every week you'll get a new module. It'll start with a bird's eye view and end with a summary. So that's how every module will be book, bookended. So with this bird's eye view, what it'll talk to you about or what it'll show you is that, hey, this is what you'll be doing in class. All right, we're going to be working on chapter one. And here's the homework that's due and when it's due. So you can see what you got or what you need to turn in this week. And for every assignment that's up here, I've also put a description of what that assignment will be and then the estimated time requirement for each of these assignments. And, and these are my best guess. It might take you a little bit more, a little bit less time. It's my best guess. All right, so if we click on next, after we get through the, the bird's eye view, what I've done is for every lecture or every example that I would go over in class, I've recorded it and put a, a link to video here. So what I mean by that is when we 
walk in here on Monday, we're going to do a few of these examples. But let's say you're absent one day, you can actually go back up through here and listen to all of the examples that we would have done. Now, I, I don't think this is a great substitute or it's a perfect substitute for coming to class. Of course, I think coming to class is better, but this is a great resource if you're absent and you miss a day or I said something and you're not sure exactly what I said and you need a little bit more review of it. They're all up here for you, every example we're going to do. I also went to Khan Academy for the most part, but I did dip, with, um, other, dip into other folks on the internet and found some extra examples that are similar to the examples, or I feel they're similar to the examples that we've done in class. They cover, cover some of the main ideas. So click around and see what's going on there. If you're having a calculator issue, for every calculator function that we used in chapter one, I have a video that corresponds to it. So that's how these, these modules are, are laid out. So let me again show you. We've got our week one, our bird's eye view, then you've got the actual lecture videos, and then here are the assignments that are due so that you can see everything we have going on, right? And then in a week one summary or when I summarize the week, it'll tell you what you did, what I'm hoping you've learned, and what I'm hoping that we can take away from this week. So again, click around, all right? See what is inside this Canvas course. Make sure you know what resources are available to you because that's what we want you to do in this co-rec course. You're gonna need to use these resources so that you can be successful. And the resources include Canvas, me, the STEM Center, your learning assistants, the lecture videos, using your calculator, making sure you're doing your homework on time, all of that stuff. We want to make sure you're using all of that so that when we get to the end of these 18 weeks, we're all excited because we're going to pass and be successful in here. All right, so with that, if you've got any questions, send me an email, chat with me after class, um, send a raven in case you watch Game of Thrones. Anywho, that's, that's going to do it for me. Take care, and I will see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.